Hello, this is Dr. William Neal, Dennis Periodontist in Wichita Falls, Texas. Thank you for watching Do It Yourself Health Hacks. Today's lesson is on sinus irrigation. I've tried a bazillion things, including prescription uh, sinus medication, and I found that there's things that are over the counter that are very helpful. Uh, about 30 years ago, I discovered that if I use normal saline from the oral surgery uh, dental department, and sucked it up in this rubber bulb, the squeeze bulb, squirted that up my nose, flushed out all the pollen and dust and boogers and snot, and I had never breathed so freely. So I used that for many years. Along came a neti pot and Neomed sinus irrigation where you use these little salt packages to uh, flush that, rinse up your nose. And um, also, uh, not too much longer after that, came uh, uh, different things that you can get over the, uh, over the counter. This uh, Arm & Hammer Simply Saline uh, Nasal Mist is pretty good. Uh, I've used this for about three years. This is clear nose spray. It's normal saline with a little xylitol sugar in there. This is probably the best thing that I've ever had. It makes the bacteria so slick it doesn't stick to the, to the uh, doesn't stick to form the clump. It, all that snot drips out like tears. So I would use that. But the purpose of today's lesson is to show that all this stuff is not necessary. All this is normal saline. And recently, about uh, maybe a month ago, uh, uh, the, uh, Dr. Bradley Bale and uh, Amy Donine um, have this um, Bale Donine method for preventing making you healthy. And they picked up on the research that was done by an English uh, doctor, uh, Sandip Ramalingam, and he rinsed the, uh, his patients that had the common cold with hypertonic saline, and all these products are normal saline. He found that rinsing the nostrils and gargling with hypertonic saline, the common cold symptoms uh, duration and severity and reoccurrence was much less and it also minimized the transmission from one patient to another and interestingly interestingly a fourth of the common cold viruses were one of the common coronaviruses which would think that there may be some benefit in minimizing or and preventing the infection from this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So all you need is sterile water and you might want to, all you need is a cup and you might run it, run it through the um, um, microwave, take the chill off. And you need some salt and you need a uh, teaspoon. So what you want to do is have a heaping teaspoon of salt. So we're going hypertonic. And you stir that up. And then we're going to gargle. Oh, yep. Almost forgot. Got to have the kitchen sink or maybe just the backyard. Uh, and we're going to gargle. So you might want to do that a couple of times. Then we're going to just sniff. Sniff and snort this hypertonic uh, saline in your sinuses. Let it feel like it's going down your throat a little bit and to clear out the sinuses and maybe protect us from the common cold and the COVID-19 virus. So here goes. that this I must have a deviated septum this is stopped up a little bit so I'm gonna plug this side up and try to see if I can draw some salt water through this nostril so you might also valsalva to pinch your nose and blow 
to uh, clear out that sinus, the uh, sinuses and the uh, eustachian tube. Interestingly, um, knowing that clear nose spray is just xylitol sugar, so you get to health food store, get a bag of xylitol sugar, add a heaping teaspoon to the cup of warm tap water, and do the same thing with xylitol sugar to clear out your sinuses. And because um, maybe you won't be able to find this at the pharmacy, or maybe you ran out, or it's dirty, you need to uh, clean it with um, bleach or whatever. So we're trying to make it just as simple as possible, just a cup and uh, salt, table salt. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you I hope you found that helpful. And stay safe. God bless you. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you on the other side of this pandemic. <laughs>